What's up, Jesus lovers, and welcome back to Epic Journey Through the Bible. I am Pastor Jacob Searns, and I do this every single day. You will find Bible stories, specifically in the life of Jesus Christ right now, going through the Gospels and learning and applying it to our everyday lives right here, right now. So, today, we are looking at Luke chapter 20, and the question is, trapping Jesus? Is it really possible for somebody to try to trap Jesus? Well, yes, actually, the scribes and Pharisees tried it on numerous occasions. And we're gonna look here at the Sadducees trying to trap Jesus and asking him about the resurrection. And asking him about the story, we talked about this a few days ago as well, the story where they're asking him about the woman who uh, had several men, her husbands kept dying and she kept marrying new ones. Then what's gonna happen in heaven? Is she gonna have you know, who's gonna be her husband in heaven? How's it gonna work? And Jesus says there is no marriage or giving in marriage in heaven. But again, the point that I'm making here is trapping Jesus. Because these guys did it over and over again. They tried to trap Jesus. They thought they could outsmart the Son of God. It's so stupid, but that's what they thought. And I wanna make this personal because <laughs> you may not think it, but you may, on occasion, have tried to trap Jesus as well. I want you to think about something. Think about the last time you read a Bible verse that you didn't really like. A Bible verse that stepped on your toes. A Bible verse that perhaps even offended you. And instead of taking that verse as what the Word of God was clearly saying, you tried to kind of twist it and maneuver the words to mean something different. When looking, for example, at a call to obedience, you may be said, well, obedience isn't really necessary anymore because we're living under grace. So we don't really have to obey. We can just do whatever we want to do. When looking at a verse that was talking about uh, maybe the Sabbath, keeping the Sabbath day holy, you may have said, well, you know, most Christian churches now go to church on Sunday. So should we really worry about the seventh day of the week, Saturday, keeping Sabbath holy? Isn't that kind of a Jewish thing? Yeah, that's probably not super important. I don't know. I'm just saying, are there some times that we will look at scripture and even try to twist it because we're uncomfortable with what God is telling us, commanding us to do? Let's not be like the scribes and Pharisees. Let's not try to trap Jesus in his words and twist his words to mean something else. Let's just take his word as the direct voice of God speaking to us and seek to follow him to the best of our ability through the indwelling of his Holy Spirit, exactly as his word says to. Let's not twist the Bible. Let's not come up with our own way of looking at things. Let's just let the Bible speak for itself from Genesis to Revelation. Let's look at the whole big picture and let's follow whatever it says, even if it does mean there's some uncomfortable things in there. Let's never find ourselves in a position of antagonism towards Jesus, but let's find ourselves firmly and completely on his side. God bless you guys. I hope this video was an encouragement for you, an inspiration and a challenge for you to take the word of God as it is written and to follow God's word in your life, in your day-to-day -day decisions, in your day-to-day -day words, in your day-to-day -day actions. Push the thumbs up button if you like this video. Thank you for watching it. You can subscribe over here if you're not already a subscriber. You can watch another cool video here. Peace, love, and the joy of the Lord. I'll see you next time.